Hi, um, I'm Anthony Collins. I'm recording this very short little video on Monday the 23rd of March um, at the end of a frankly um, crazy last um, week and a half in which um, really everything has changed in terms of our, um, our, our teaching and studying. Um, and I just wanted to raise one issue, which is that, that, that in these, these kind of rapidly changing times, uh, a lot of things can become difficult it, it, and it can feel like really anxious and depressing um, and chaotic. Um, and so I just wanted to address that, that um, all your plans that you've made earlier in the year have suddenly changed. Um, suddenly, instead of coming to classes, you are doing everything online. Um, the whole way of interacting with the, your lecturers has changed. And then the world around you has changed. You know, you can't buy toilet paper. You don't, um, today, we still don't know what the um, shutdown of non-essential services means, for instance. Um, uh, and tomorrow, we probably will know. But um, that's why I put the date on this, that today, we, we just don't know. Um, so things have changed very fast. And there's a number of things that really may be impacting on you. Um, and uh, firstly, um, th these are troubling times, like people are worried about their health, the health of their loved ones, and um, people are worried about their employment. Um, you know, if you're supporting yourself doing one or another kind of work, will that work simply stop existing? Uh, what, what will you do under those conditions? Um, if you are forced to socially isolate, what will that be like? Are you, will, it, w w will you be in total isolation? Will you be battling with kind of loneliness and isolation? Will you be isolating into a home that is actually very stressful and perhaps even risky in certain ways? Um, so there are all these challenges facing us at the moment. Um, and it doesn't help that the, 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 the things we've been relying on suddenly aren't there anymore. So the first thing is that we, we're well aware that, 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 that these are challenges for you. And in fact, we're well aware that they're serious challenges for us. But fortunately, we've got a handle on many of the aspects and we can help you with many things. The first thing is, you know, just to think about your studying. Um, you have to reimagine it now. Um, and we'd, we've been working very fast to make it as clear as possible to make sure that the, the new, that everything's moved back a week, the new dates are clear, the assignment dates, the task dates, um, the activity dates are all clear. So make sure you, you are up to date with that. Um, if there is a new subject learning guide available, if your LMS has been updated, just, just spend some time reconceptualizing what your, what your schedule is going to look like. And the important thing here is that sticking to schedule is now harder um, because when you had to come in at a certain time to a lecture, that, that sort of put you in a rhythm and you knew, oh, the day before the lecture, I need to do this kind of preparation or I need to have this for the tutorial. Or, and now it feels very kind of um, without a framework. So you have to establish that framework yourself. You have to be looking carefully at the information that's available and you've got to be doing some of the, the kind of personal time schedule planning. Um, the other thing is you may have very many questions and, it, and you, you may not know how to ask them. Like you, you can't ask them in the lecture now. Um, you can't drop into student consultation times. So how are you going to find the answer to your questions? And then pay careful attention to what your lecturers have done. Have they um, set up Q&A forums? Have they set up uh, Zoom consultation times? Uh, can the, you uh, send them emails with certain kinds of questions? Pay attention to that to, to make sure you know how to get the answers. Um, and the other thing is, um, uh, you, you know, link, 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 link that sort of increased knowledge of, 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 of the kind of the structure with the increased knowledge of the technologies, because we're all on a learning curve now. Um, many of us haven't used Zoom before, we haven't done Zoom tutorials before, but we're going to very quickly become experienced with those. And these are not difficult things. They're new things, but they're not difficult things. Um, and if you have particular challenges in terms of access, um, you should make us aware of those. Um, so th think about that. Um, don't panic about the, the, the transition with the mediums, the transition with the, with, with, with the forms of meeting and communication. Um, that, but but just, just give yourself time to, to, to um, become familiar with those. And this will get much better over the next two weeks. Um, we're sure of that. 
Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. There's very good um, guides available online um, and we'll solve those kind of problems and we're very attentive to supporting you. Um, and the final thing is, you know, the stuff that isn't just about the teaching and learning, the stuff is about you and this being a really, really difficult time. And what do you do about that? What do you do about your worries and the anxiety and the fears that you have? Because, because it is reasonable to have those fears. And the important thing is that you, you do communicate those. You do indicate um, those anxieties to your lecturers, to people who can help you. Um, you do communicate those to friends and family so that you can talk about them. It's really important to, to, to be talking, to be just trying to articulate and getting people to give you feedback. Um, and that's really appropriate and that's really helpful. And of course, there are um, uh, health and well-being services within the university. So you can uh, go on the Electrode website, click there on health and well-being, um, and you'll see immediately there's a COVID-19 feature that uh, has got a lot of useful information. Um, and there's this counseling and mental health services. Um, links available there, uh, email counseling at latrobe.edu.au uh, or phone um, 0394792956, uh, 0394792956 is the number. Um, at the moment, those services are currently um, also being reconfigured. Uh, I, we don't yet know um, exactly what they're going to look like, but we will, you will probably know by the time you see this, um, whether, for instance, Zoom counselling may become available. Um, we d I, I don't know the answer to that. It's under discussion, but certainly um, good support mechanisms are being developed. Um, so think about all those things. Um, and, you know, it doesn't help to say don't panic. Uh, this is a chaotic and stressful time, but we are working. Um, we've got very good systems in the background that we're implementing. It's taking us a while to really get to, to get very, very um, seamless and effective with them. But the support is there and things will become clearer. You will start feeling more confident. Um, the important things are to give yourself time to familiarize yourself with the changes and um, the new schedules the new technologies. Um, uh, do seek help when you need it. Do talk to people. Um, and also, um, one of the things that happens at the moment is in the chaos, it feels very out of control. But focus on what you can do. One of the things is, is that this particular virus is uh, has certain uh, certain risks, but and but 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 also certain limits. And although it uh, it is fairly contagious, it isn't particularly airborne, and it's quite easy to avoid it through fairly simple um, physical distancing, keeping two meters apart. The, the virus is actually killed by simply washing your hands with warm water and soap. Um, it doesn't just wash it off, it actually kills the virus. That's, that, that's amazing. That's a very, very good form of self-protection. And you can go a long way to avoid contracting it simply by controlling your contact with, um, with possible transmission points, surfaces that other people have touched that have been contaminated with, with droplets. So all those door handles, light switches, um, you know, th things like that. Just think about your contact with those. Um, and to think about if you do have to be socially isolated, think about all the, 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 the amazing new forms of, of, of um, interaction that are available to us um, that don't involve being in the physical presence of other people. So in fact, this is a totally manageable situation. It's just unexpected, um, it's disorienting, it's confusing, uh, and it's and you know it makes it, it can make you anxious and it can make you feel powerless. But um, the truth of the matter is we very um, we've got very good systems uh, to transition into this. And as the transition becomes familiar, um, it will start falling into place. The important thing is if that transition is difficult for you, do talk to people and do seek help with it.